You thought you were done with our Rocket and Raygun Award winner for Game of the Year. We're talking Dishonored. There's new DLC out there. There's also a Game of the Year edition. We took a look at the Brigmore Witches. What did you think of this game? Any excuse to go back into the world that Harvey and Rafe have created at yeah. Arcane Studios is all right with me because I absolutely love this game. I wholeheartedly endorsed it for Game of the Year. Ah. You know, the Knife of Dunwall was very interesting. Oh, I loved it. It ended on a very anticlimactic note, yeah. but the and, Brigmore and this, Witches more than makes up for that. Yeah, this is action. the sequel in DLC space, which is a little bit weird. We normally don't see that. We usually DL get... sequel, I believe, yeah, is yeah, what we should DL call sequel. it. Yeah. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? What you do again is you play as Dowd, who is one of the assassins in the game. He's not exactly Corvo, although he has most well, of Corvo's he, ability. He doesn't have the moral compass yes. that, that Corvo has, and in some ways that makes it more fun to play because you can behave ruthlessly yeah. in the game and not have a guilty conscience about it. Now, you do at one point in the game, giving a little bit away here, encounter your old friend Corvo, yes, and that's you do. a really interesting moment, I think, especially for fans who have been with the fiction of this world every step of the way. And of course, Dowd has some abilities that Corvo never had, like the ability to summon a little assassin helper who can which go to work like on some of the enemies, which Assassin's I love. Creed, yeah. Someone head over here! It's essentially three large-scale missions. The first one, you have to break into a prison and you have to rescue a guide that will help you get to the next part of the story. But the key moment there is the fact that it takes place exactly at the moment in time when Corvo has just left the prison. Right. So what you get is a prison that's much different than the one you remember from the original game. All the guards are on high alert. The river that you dive into has been drained. This is a much, much more challenging space than you remember it being the first time around. And then you get some new levels as well, and I guess the big standout is the witch's mansion, which is loaded with witches that are really yeah. freaky and it there's sounds dogs. Like it might be something from Scooby-Doo, but yeah. let me tell you, this of all the things that I encountered in the game, like the tall boys gave me nightmares, yes. these witches will haunt you long after the console's been powered off at night. I mean, these are some of the scariest video game creatures I've ever encountered, and they're very difficult, especially if you want to go through it and keep your chaos level low. Yeah. And that's the thing about the Game of the Year edition, too, when you dive into this game. And if you haven't picked it up, by all means, please yeah, make how it many times do we have to an tell effort you? to do that, because this game Jesus. is a work of art. It's a magnificent accomplishment, but it's also incredibly terrifying because stealth is a big factor. No matter if you're playing Corvo or Dow, you have to take your time to kind of assess the situation and discover which way is the best way to blink and how you can avoid conflict as much as possible. You know what I love about this, and going back to the game, I appreciate it even more. It's been almost a year since yeah. we first got to know Corvo and the, yeah. we first got to know the city of Dunwall. I love the terrific sense of place. You know what? This is the right way to say goodbye. Yeah, it Finally, is. Yes. to Dishonored, to the city of Dunwall, to the character of Corvo and Dowd and, yeah, and Delilah listen, the Witch. I mean, if we have to sell it to you, do you like Metal Gear Solid? Do you like Thief? Do you like Bioshock? You gotta get Dishonored in the Game of the Year edition. Incredible value. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up two copies just in yeah. case one gives out in the night and the stores are closed. What are you going to give the Brigmore Witches? It's going to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 for me and overall? The Game of the Year edition, 10 out of 10. Absolutely 10.